Hey everybody, it's Coin Snobs. I'm Keith. And I'm Jason. And here we have our other travel box that we have in our archives. So in July, I had picked up two boxes of half dollars when I was in San Diego. So this is the second one of them. Our first one was, uh, we did a wrap up on it. This is, I've got a date of May 22nd of 2019, which was about a month before I was there, maybe two weeks, three weeks before I was there. So we're going to open it up and see what we got for Enders. <laughs> so the front flap is already open, but it's just the top flaps that we got to cut. Ooh. And let's see what Ooh. we got. Ready? Oh. so far all right so we're gonna okay. power through this and see what we come up with all right be right back all right guys overview for traveling box number two from san diego that we've been holding on to for like i don't know seven or eight months been holding on to it for a while but anyways uh, if you guys kind of know how I organize these overviews, uh, as you can see, there's a huge difference in this box between the other box. I mean, naturally, they were quite a few states away from each other. But it's just really weird how we'll find globs of one particular thing in a box. It's like, uh, I guess it kind of makes sense if it's a collection dump or something, if something's, you know, holding on to a certain specific thing. But this one's way more dramatic than usual. I mean, we found no struck through whatsoever, which is really, really, really odd for us. No strike doubling and no clashes. I mean, those are usually like the bread and butter of the stuff that we keep. This one's got a little bit of a weird oddity and anomaly on it, so I'll show that one to you under the scope. Um, but yeah, that's like the one truly weird one. Found some really nice mint state coins i uh, got a really beautiful bicentennial a uh, really nice looking 1986 denver and then a really bright 1992 philadelphia without a die crack which of course is also weird for us and then speaking of die cracks we got a 96 philadelphia with a die crack a 1998 philadelphia with a die crack 97 and 95, all with die cracks. And they're all in really mint state condition too, which again is a huge bonus because usually the die cracks that we find aren't in that good a shape. Then a whole bunch of Nipsies. Now that last box we found zero Nipsies. This one we found a ton, including this beauty right here, 1987 Philadelphia, which of course was only available in mint sets in 1987. Uh, as opposed to the modern ones, 2002 and up, where you get them in mint sets. Or you could also get them in rolls directly from the mint. But that's like our fifth or sixth, maybe seventh, 87 um, Nipsey that we found, which is really cool. Because up until maybe six, seven months ago, I hadn't found any of them. So all of a sudden, they're popping up. But we got uh, 2019 Denver. 2003 Philadelphia. 2002 Denver, that's the first year of what I guess you would call the modern Nipsey. Another 2002 Denver. Another 2002 Denver. A 2004 Philadelphia, if it'll focus. A 2009 Denver, which of course is one of the better dates of any Nipsey. Didn't make so many of those. 2003 Denver, and it's not in great condition, but it's not terrible, so we kept it, of course. 2003 Philadelphia. 2015 Philadelphia with a bunch of fingerprints, but again, whatever. 2006 Denver, and then one lone, terrible-looking 1980S uh, proof. And that thing's been hammered i mean it's it's pretty bad but it's a proof and i mean we just don't have the heart to put them back into circulation so we're probably going to have like tubes and tubes and tubes full of ugly uh 
proof coins, but whatever. We won't talk about that. But anyways, overview once again, as you can see, super skewed from the last box. I don't know. It's 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 strange, but I guess this is just the uh, the interesting parts of, of coin roll hunting. Yeah, I don't know. Weird. All right, let's scope them. All right, first things first is this really strange little, like, uh, tooling mark right here between the left side of the tail feather and the eagle's left leg. At first we thought it was damage of some sort, but it's definitely not damage. It's actually raised. Uh, thought maybe it could have been a die crack. It's definitely not a die crack, because usually, you know, die cracks have kind of a consistent pattern where they'll be... Uh, you know, they'll start kind of deep at one point and then they'll get kind of thin as they go out, usually towards the edge or or what have you. But this is this is definitely not a die crack. Um, my best guess is, is that it's probably some sort of a tooling mark. Uh, it's really weird. It's like a, a hump of metal sitting right there. Um, but anyways, yeah, guys, if, if you have any idea what you think that might be, go ahead and let us know. I mean, it's something that I don't think we've ever really seen before, to be honest. Next up, we'll take a look at some of these die cracks. Got a 1996 Philadelphia, of course. And pretty typical pattern for die crack that we find coming off the bottom tip there of Kennedy's bust. Going all the way through pretty much the bottom of it, you can see a pretty strong ridge of die crack right about there. And this is definitely an older die state, which kind of makes sense, of course, because as a die ages, it's going to have, uh, you know, things where it starts to crack and stuff like that. But it's in pretty decent shape. I mean, it's got, you know, hits where there usually is on a Kennedy half dollar on his face, his jowls and stuff like that right there. And I'll bet anything that if we look at the bottom of the eagle here, we're also going to see some hits. Yeah, see, usual usual pattern of wear. Actually, looking at it, there might be a little bit of a die crack coming off of the left side of the tail feathers right here, just below the left leg. Yeah, that's not damaged, that's raised. So, yeah. There's another die crack. So we got a die crack on the obverse and the reverse. But, like I was saying, it's in pretty decent condition. Not too bad at all. 1998 Philadelphia with a die crack. This one's a little bit different because instead of riding the ridge at the bottom of Kennedy's bust here, this actually goes up into the uh, neck, which is a little bit different, all the way down to the rim as they typically do. But yeah, if you look right here, there's a really thick chunk right there of metal where the die is cracked. So that's kind of cool to see a little bit of a different one. It's, it's a shame that it's gotten some, some damage right here above the W because I'll bet that die crack goes pretty well all the way through. Let's take a look at the other side of that damage. Yeah, it looks like it terminates right above here, above the right side of the E. So, yeah, it's a pretty different, it's a, it's a pretty interesting die crack. Definitely different than what we typically find. Uh, like I was saying, the one that we just showed you, that's like pretty much every die crack that we find. Very bright, beautiful 1997 Philadelphia with that typical die crack. This one not as thick as the, as the ones that we typically find, but it is definitely there. And it's in pretty decent shape, of course, the usual places that it gets hit. But there is also a little bit of a die crack right about here. I know it's kind of hard to tell uh, to see the cursor, but I... I tried to enlarge it before it enlarges it a little bit but I don't think it makes that much of a difference I would have to see if there's some kind of a program that I can use that'll actually make the cursor bigger so you can, guys can see it but if you look right here just behind his mouth there's a pretty straight line starting right here and it goes all the way up looks like it goes through the cheek and down to behind the chin so that's a super odd die crack for us to find rest of the lines look like they're just damaged or maybe anomalies that were in the planchet before it was struck. But it's a nice, bright, beautiful Kennedy. Just showing the typical, typical signs of light wear. The shield as usual. And of course all that beautiful metal flow from a older die state. 
1995 Philadelphia with an old dice tape. And the typical die crack. Again, going all the way through that ridge of the bottom of Kennedy's bust. And another little spot right here in almost the same place as the last coin where it looks like there's another die crack right here. It could be some sort of warping from Strange Metal Flow from the, the older die, but it kind of looks... Let's see if we can get a little better look at it. Yeah, it's definitely a die crack in pretty much the same area as the last coin. So, although we find lots of die cracks, lots of them the typical looking die cracks, every once in a while you'll find something a little bit strange. Awful, awful metal flow on the reverse die. Between this and losing some of the detail and the die crack, the, the, this die pair was just about on its way out. And then one of the world's worst looking proof half dollars. And it's really weird because it almost looks like someone purposely damaged this coin. I mean, you'll find coins, of course, not usually half dollars, but you'll find coins, you know, like pennies and nickels and stuff where they've been sitting in the street and they get stepped on or run over or whatever, so you'll have lots of little divots and gouges and things like that. But this, I mean, these are solid, like, scrapes. And it's really heartbreaking to see that happen to a proof coin. But, I mean, again, we just can't put it back into circulation. If we have a bunch of nasty-looking proof coins, that's fine. I don't know. Just don't have the heart to get rid of them. Because, I mean, either way you look at it, it's a proof coin. Yeah, it's not silver or anything else, but... It once was, it once was something quite beautiful. And in its own way, I guess it still is kind of beautiful. I mean, you can see how amazing this coin was before someone decided to pull it out of the proof set and spend it or somebody stole it and spend it or something but yeah you can see there's mirror like fields there hiding under all of that damage and all of its battle scars and it was definitely deep cameo and then the reverse is kind of the same idea nasty scrapes across the eagle and the shield I mean it was once quite the glorious coin but she is retired from circulation Either way you look at it. But that's it, guys, for now. Um, yeah, we will see you soon. God bless, and we love you all. Thanks for checking us out.